Hey, what's up? It's Deanna, and today I'm going to show you this very old mohair cow, and it's really, really amazing, and it's really, really old. Now, I don't know exactly when this cow was made, but sometimes there's little clues on these antique toys that can help you pretty much come up with a year or age, and so I'm looking at these little horns that look like they're made out of plastic, but they're really not made out of plastic, and as I look at it and investigate it, actually, let me zoom in on this. To try to show you it's hard to uh, get the detail because my camera is not cooperating right now actually let me zoom in this way and so when I touch this it's very very lightweight and it has a plasticky feel but it's not plastic so my guess is it's either Bakelite or celluloid and this is telling me this is the early 20th century and you can also tell by these very very old silk flowers and silk ribbon that's on the cow and so I know Bakelite actually was invented before celluloid. Celluloid was uh, around sometime in the 1920s to the 1940s. And then after World War II, plastic then really, really took off as they actually invented plastic for the GIs in World War II. Um, so this is telling me this is earlier than the 1940s and as early as probably about 1900 to about 1930. So um, also another clue is these little shoe button eyes. Um, generally, after about 1915, they made little eyes with pupils out of glass. Before that, they made the uh, stuffed animal's eyes made out of shoe buttons that were actually on boots. And so this is telling me this is a very, very, very old cow. And uh, so the cool part of him is he has a pull string. And let me zoom in on that so that when you pull the string, it doesn't work very well. It would make a mooing sound. Let me try to do this on camera. And it's not working right now. But he does make a little mooing sound when you tip him around a little. And it's not working right now. It figures, because of course I'm doing a video. But nonetheless, you can hear it inside. Wait. You hear that? It's trying to moo. But nonetheless, this is really, really a cool, innovative design back for that time frame. Now, some of the mohair has worn from age. And this was airbrushed. These little spots were airbrushed onto the animal. And there you go. There's that old, old cord that you would pull. There is some wear. There's like a little hole over there. And the cool part of this is this once had udders on it. So you see that little spot right here? That once held on little rubber udders. And as you can see, it's crumbled. The, whatever rubber was left on it has crumbled from age. And I did see another animal like this that somebody said was a stife, which actually I don't think is a stife. The same exact one as this one, and it had the rubber udders still. So what they also did was really cute. They put yarn on the tip of the tail to give it like that cow look. Because you know how like the tip of a cow's tail has like that furry area? And this is just a beautiful, beautiful animal. Now, when my daughter saw this, she said, Mommy, Mommy, that's Ferdinand, Ferdinand the Bull, who actually, um, that was a really great children's book that was written in the 1930s. I think it was 1936 that Ferdinand the Bull was written. So if this is not an early, early cow, this actually may be an early version of Ferdinand the Bull, who actually loved flowers. And that might be a clue on what this may be. This may be because when that book came out, so many different companies started making products of Ferdinand the Bull. I know, I think it was the Knickerbocker Toy Company and Marks in Germany had made some wind up Ferdinand the Bulls at that time. And other companies were coming out with plush animals of Ferdinand the Bull. And so this may actually be Ferdinand the Bull, anatomically correct because it once had udders. And um, this may actually not be as early as I thought it is and have been made probably around 1936 to 38 when Ferdinand the Bull was popular. So nonetheless, once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And I just really thought this was a neat old toy to share with you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And if you know, by the way, who made this, please tell me because I would love to know. And I really don't think it's a stife, but nonetheless, it could be an early American stuffed cow.